Hello everybody, this is Ghost Hunter 385. I am back with more Kirby, another topic, and more content for everybody. Fargo Bay. But anyway, let's get into today's topic. And today's topic is lonely single men. Well, I would say single, but maybe not lonely. Now, why do I say this? Because, you know, the media loves to present the notion that men are lonely in the corner crying to themselves because nobody loves them, nobody wants to be with them. Blubbity, 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 blub. But, you know, here's the fundamental question that they don't ask, is why are men alone? Now, are men alone because there's just nobody there? Or are they alone because... Well, gee, let's think about it for a minute. Divorce laws suck in the West. Some Eastern countries are better, some aren't. Then, you know, the quality of women is down. Is very poor, to say the least, in the West. Ghost Hunter, you can't say that women aren't quality. Okay, quick perspective from a guy's... Quick perspective from a guy. If my woman who claims to love me tells me she loves me to my face and then promptly, oh, what? Mm -hmm. How should I put this nicely? She one day wakes up, tells me she doesn't love me, doesn't want to be with me, doesn't need me anymore, files for a divorce, gets custody of the kids, if there are any, she gets alimony, in some states it's permanent alimony, and then she just carries on with the rest of her life. Okay? And, you know, this is all put in by the courts, and blah 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 and I... And, you know, if the kids are involved, it's even worse because the majority of the time, she keeps the kids away out of spite, too. Blah, 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 blah. You know, the question you have to sit here and ask yourself, are men really lonely? Or are they just simply choosing, um, bro, I've seen, the, I've seen the statistics, I've seen the evidence, I saw what happened to Larry over here. Dude, no, it ain't worth it. I would rather have a casual relationship with most women and then just peace out, bro. Because it's just that much safer for whatever for my future earnings and blah 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 blah. You know, it's really, really simple. You know, are men choosing to be lonely and single, or are they just choosing to be single because it's just safer that way? And I hate to be the bearer of bad news to a lot of these multimedia companies, but the truth is actually the reverse. Men aren't lonely and single. Most men are like, you're kidding me, right, dude? I know what happens here. I ain't playing this game. Nope, I'm good. I am outy here. I would rather down 10 shots of tequila and stumble through a minefield and see if my odds are, are better at surviving than staying with this person. I mean, come on, you know, it's called, really dude? You know, marriage is a blah, 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 blah. And it's like, you know, look, we can sit here and, and use the arguments of marriage this, marriage that, you need a companion. You know, at this point, I would rather have a dog. Now, I can already sit here some people saying, well, isn't that what be, isn't that what some people want? You know, whole population reduction? Well, here's the fundamental issue. It do, a, a species prospers doesn't depend on the men. It depends on the females. If you can get females to stop reproducing or make it so that they're repro the person who they who they might willingly reproduce with is such a small margin that's already doing population reduction quite heavily mind you but you know i digress the point is is that 
The news media does not know what is going on in the world. If the news media actually understood what was going on in the world, trust me, things would be way, way different. Well, let's be more precise. The news media probably does know what's really going on in the world, and because they're mo own, because one of their biggest shareholders is BlackRock and whatever that other group is. So because they're that person, you know, they don't understand that most men are like, I would rather be single, bro. It's just safer that way. But, you know, is it sad in a way that this is where things are going? Of course it is. I mean, who sits there and volunteers their life and says, yeah, I uh, just want to be lonely and single for the, I just want to be alone for the rest of my life. Aside from having maybe a dog or a good Labrador retriever or maybe a cat or a bird, whoever you are. It's really sad when you think about it that human relationships have become so toxic that most people would rather say, I'd rather have a pet this, pet that. Sad, right? But, you know, then again, this is kind of what we've done to ourselves here. Now, I can understand here some people saying, you know, well, what do you mean we've done this to ourselves? And the answer to that question is, you know, men and women do this to each other. Women who choose, I have to have my dream man, otherwise I'm just not going to settle down. Or if she does settle down, she chooses the guy who's most like dream boy, dream beau, whatever, and, you know, she settles with Mr. Non-Dream Beau, and Mr. Non-Dream Beau is, well, not Dream Beau, so she'll never be happy. So what does she do? She eventually builds resentment and may take it out on him. Or, in the more likely case, she'll just move up to the next better option no matter what, how much damage that will cause in her current life, and she'll just move up. And, you know, she hopes that, you know, he will be Dreambo, real Bobo, but, you know, he's not going to be real Bobo, as it were, basically. <sighs> so, you know, it's just this perpetual cycle of unhappiness, in a way, when you really think about it. I mean, who wakes up the day, one day and says, I want to marry Dreambo, or my dream Helen, whatever, and they will not settle until they have dream Helen, Dreambo, whatever. You know, most men don't really care. Most men have, you know, the basic criteria. Can you cook? Can you clean? Okay. Uh, or do you want children? Because I want children. No, I don't want children. Hey, if we can meet these basic factors, most guys are like, hey, I'm down. How much money she makes, who cares? That's how most guys are. Now, of course, we could also talk about the whole social strata thing where you think, well, this is actually kind of important now they think about it. If you have to consider social strata here. Now, why do I say we have to consider social strata here, or social position? You know, it straight boils down to that, you know, most people marry within their class and society. Now, do you have those who do move up and move down, who marry up and marry down? Yeah, that's true. But, on the majority note of it, you know, most men really don't care unless there's a family, unless the family has a prerogative about marrying up, or at least within the same class, basically. And, you know, it's, you know, one thing or another. And it's called, huh, okay, but, you know, you said this topic was, was lonely men, lonely single men, and you know, how many men are truly lonely? You know, just ask yourself that question. How many are truly lonely? 
or better yet, how many are in quote unquote relationships, but they're still lonely because their partner is just gone from the relationship, or they just don't care for it either. It's it can be one or the other, or it could be both. Who knows? For some. But the point is, is that what the media represents is fundamentally wrong. How is it fundamentally wrong? Well, aside from laws and other social pressures, it's also choice. Ghost Hunter, are you telling me there are guys who would rather be alone and single? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. How sad is that? It's not really sad when it's kind of, you know, tinfoil hat here for a moment. Designed that way. I mean, think about it. If you're a man and you get divorced, you're SOL. I mean, your best outcome is 50-50 with assets, child, uh, you know, a moderate amount of child support, and a moderate amount of alimony. Those are your best hopes. And that you get to see your kids more than, you know, two weekends a month, as it were, basically. You know, that's if that's your best hope for for seeing your children, don't you think that's a bit wrong or something's a bit wrong here? Just thinking about that off the top of my head. But, you know, back onto the main subject here. If you sit there and, you know, do the whole algebra thing, X, Y, using X and Y. If X is the likelihood of me getting messed, get me getting the short end of the stick, and Y being just how bad it's going to be, the bigger the X is, the bigger the Y becomes. So is it really all that worth it, you know? Simple algebra. Very basic. Now people sit there and say, what do you mean algebra is basic? Uh, when you've taken calculus, ooh, algebra looks easy. Yes, I did go to university and I was seeking a specific degree that did require me to know calculus. And trust me, once you've studied enough, once you get a good idea of what calculus looks like, you realize just how easy algebra can be. Because especially when you realize that calculus was was made to solve the problems in algebra that you couldn't. It's crazy. But anyway, anyway, anyway. If most men would rather be alone, and you know, we can already list the causes of society, women, modern women, big one there, modern women, what the laws do to men in courts when it comes to the divorce and everything. You know, I think the point here is we're asking the wrong question. Because the wrong, because we're not asking the question is why are why are there so many lonely single men? The question is is why are men why are men choosing to be single? Because in the immortal words of the emperor, there are there's no such thing as an incel. If a guy really wants to pull women. What's he got to do? He's just got to level up. He's got to work out, take care of what he eats, get a better paying job, blah, 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 basically. In other words, do what you can to better yourself so that way you can actually attract that quote unquote attention. So in that regard, you know, you have to ask and you should ask wait a minute if all I need to do to attract and get women is you know get the body and get the money you know how is that so hard well think about it like this for a moment if you look at how inflation has gone compared to wages you know, it's called having children, if you're a guy and you're not mi million, at least a bare minimum, some type of millionaire, you are SOL. Like, you know, people sit there and say, what do you mean you're SOL? You're SOL, you're SOL so hard because guess what? 
you, if you're an average guy who makes what? I think I read somewhere that the average Joe makes anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year in the United States, and you know you get married to a woman who makes about the equivalent or less, she leaves, and then, gee, kids, alimony, child support, blah 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 blah. blah. Basically, in a nutshell, you know, it's called he's going to lose everything he's worked for, and if he's lucky, he might work harder for the next 30, 40 years, and he might recover, basically. Now, if you were to sit there and be like, oh my god, dude, this is terrible. I didn't sign up for this. I would never would have signed up for this. That's kind of the point. So, you know, it's called, okay, so maybe there isn't an epidemic of lonely single men. Maybe there's just single men who are just like, deuces, bro. I'm out. I'm out of here. And, you know, I hate to break it to the news media, but that is the, is the more, is the most likely case is Peace is peace, bro. I'm out of this crazy, crazy nest. And you know, for reasons that are either well, for most guys it would be. Sorry, just brain's cat mouth is catching up with my brain here. But basically, the general notion here is that if you're a guy and you do this, that, and the other thing, and you get the short, and you got the, sha you got the shaft, and she got the gold mine, you know, it's called, what was the point of this, you know? So, from there, you know, it's just, most guys would rather choose to be single, or there are those who will say, you know what, where I live, terrible. I'll just move to a country where my money is more valuable. And there are guys who do that. Some of them call them passport bros. Others just call, others call them. Uh, well, a lot of women who hear about them call them several different names, whether it's true or not. If anybody yes. But you know, the point is, is that if you would choose to basically. You know, just choose to, you know, not take part, not be involved, however you want to say that, as it were. It's just, you know, there's not an epidemic. There's just guys who are like, yeah, no, I would rather be single. I saw what happened to my dad. I saw what happened to my uncle. I saw what happened to my best friend. It's not worth it. Now, if they truly wanted to fix some of this stuff, the, the politicians could, but their special interests are not interested in fixing it. Why are they not interested in fixing it? Mm, money, power, more money, more power. Take your pick, it's one or the other. Or in most cases, both, money and power. Tinfoil hat back on here for just a second. How is that? How and why is that the case? Straightforward answer is simply this: If men and women are together and they choose to build a life, and you know you try and build that generational wealth, assuming that it doesn't go to waste, guess what? In a cut, if you do it right for a couple generations, your family is very wealthy. It's what the Rockefeller, well, it's not what Rockefeller did, but it's what the Rockefellers, the Rockefellers set up a legacy in an empire for Pete's sake. And how did they do that? They did it by simply managing their money well, making sure that they, that, that they dealt with competition and everything. It's not hard. Generational wealth is the building bricks, well, building blocks, however you want to say it, is some of the building blocks for some of the most wealthiest families 
out there. And, you know, it's crazy how that can be the case, because I hear some people saying, generational wealth is hard. Well, think about it for a minute. Families that stayed together are more better off financially because you have two bread earners. But if you go back in the past, how is it that people, how is it like the, the J.P. Morgan family, the Rockefeller family, and all those other big time other families, how is it their families are still some of those wealthy families in the world? How is that? It's simple. They kept the generational wealth. They didn't squander millions and millions of dollars on whatever. They didn't do that. They invested it. They saved it for Pete's sake. And, you know, it shows that considering those families are some of the most powerful families that exist on the planet. It's not crazy when you think about it, but it is what? It's, it's not scary it's what it's impressive when you really can think about it i mean think about it for just a great minute these these people put together a big enough empire that it still lasts to this day well at least the money does anyway so from there you know it's called why wouldn't these people want men and women not to be together because if they're not together, you can literally take control of the world's assets and stuff. And, you know, it's, you know, one thing after another. Like, holy cow. But, you know, that's enough tin, tin foil hat for now. We'll save more tin foil. But anyway, anyway, you know... The news media hasn't considered that men would rather be alone than be with a lot of what well, with a lot of modern women because it's just you expect me to start a family with this entitled brat who can't even see beyond herself like Paul? Nope, I'd rather be alone. Very much would I rather be alone. At least that way, I'm safe from false allegations, I'm safe from this, I'm safe from that. And, you know, because I'm not going to be having any kids, you know, I don't have to worry about losing them or never seeing them. And because I'm never getting married, oh yeah, that means I'm not going to lose anywhere from 50 to either 80 or 90 percent of my assets. Heavy, heavy infringement on the uh, 73rd. And that's if the judge is feeling nice to you. Isn't it nice how those who interpret the law and those who, who practice the law are very similar people, isn't it? But, you know, the point stands straightforward. Most men are not alone because they want, because they want to be alone. They're alone because they have to be to protect themselves. It's really, really, really sad, mind you, that this is the case. But holy cow, it's kind of crazy that that's, this is the case. And it's like, oh, this is kind of a problem. Oh, wait, no, it is a major problem. It's not a problem at all. I mean, if they changed the laws, took away welfare took away a lot of the incentives for the single MOMs and women to divorce, and instead they actually started punishing the more negative behaviors, gee, then wouldn't that cause most people to try and make a relationship work? Wouldn't that incentivize people to stay together because it, you're better off that way. Now, this is of course excluding situations of abuse, of course. But still, think about that one for a minute. It's just really, really, really sad when you think about it. All you have to do to try and fix certain things is change society, change society's perspective, 
and other things. And holy crap, things just might fix themselves. Magical, isn't it? But in any case, like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I will see everybody in the next video.